On Tuesday afternoon, Canelo Alvarez pulled himself from his May 5 rematch against unified middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin. The withdrawal came after Alvarez failed two random drug tests for clenbuterol on February 17 and February 20. Last month, Alvarez had been issued a temporary suspension from the Nevada State Athletic Commission and has to attend a hearing on April 10, in which he will learn how long he is suspended for. Sources told Sporting News the hope is that Alvarez receives a six-month suspension and be eligible to in August with the plan of fighting Golovkin on September 15. Golovkin, 37-01, 33-KOs, plans to get in the ring on May 5, and this Thursday. His team will request for him to fight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas instead of the T-Mobile Arena, where the Alvarez fight was originally set to take place. The question now is, who will Golovkin fight? Here are three candidates. Who could step in this choice is the most logical and highest profile of the three choices? Jacobs, 33-2, 29 KOs, gave Golovkin the hardest test of his career in March 2017 losing a narrow decision in a highly entertaining fight. Some boxing pundits felt Jacobs should have gotten the decision. After the fight, the 31-year-old signed with Matchroom Boxing and HBO for the sole purpose of one day securing a rematch against Golovkin. Jacobs returned in November and easily defeated Luis Arias in November and is currently scheduled to fight Maciej Selecki on April 28. Jacobs is already in training camp, preparing for a fight. You could easily cancel the Selecki fight on Jacobs get an extra week of work in. It would be easy to make as well, since they are on the same network and their management teams get along good enough to sort out the financial aspects. While Jacobs makes the most sense, Saunders is the one Golovkin would likely covet the most. The fight would be for the undisputed middleweight championship, Golovkin would put up his IBF, WBC and WBA titles against Saunders' WBO belt. In the past, Golovkin and Saunders have traded barbs about wanting to face each other, but the bout has yet to come to fruition. Saunders, 26-0, 12 KOs, stock rose tremendously after running through former Golovkin opponent David Lemieux in December, and he was scheduled to face Martin Murray on April 14. The fight was postponed to June 23 after Saunders injured his hand. Unless Saunders has remarkable healing powers, he wouldn't be able to face Golovkin on May 5. While it wouldn't be the high-profile fight Golovkin would be looking for, it does offer Golovkin something he's wanted for a long time. This is the most intriguing potential matchup, but the least likely to happen. The former two-time junior middleweight titlist and 2008 U.S. Olympian threw his hat into the ring when talks started of Alvarez not fighting Golovkin. The 30-year-old middleweight from Rhode Island is immensely talented and one who should be in line for a high-profile contest but his stock is low. After Andrade dominated Delante's Fox in a boar fest in October, HBO, which had signed Andrade to a three-fight deal, declined his option for a second bout, and the network is unlikely to reward him at this point. Unfortunately, he doesn't possess a world title nor has he proven himself as an attraction, which is a shame because he's undefeated in 25 fights and has a terrific pedigree that holds up against anyone in the weight class, based solely on merit. Stephen Mielhausen is an MMA and boxing writer and contributor for Sporting News. Subscribe to his YouTube channel here. You can email him at stevenmuehlhausen at yahoo.com and can find him on Twitter at